Perdidas. Is there anywhere in the Bible mentioned that Christ was God, the God of Moses, of David, Noah, Abraham, and Adam, and that He was the creator of this universe and creation? No, there is no such thing. Also with regards to the Trinity. See, the Christian says that God is in three persons. And they say in the formula that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. They continue in the catechism, in the book of instructions, that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But they are not three persons, but one person. Am I correct? I don't know the book of Catechism. I am asking the Christian, the Westerner, who speaks English, you said person, 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 but not three persons, but one person. I said, I want to know what language are you talking? Is that English? I am asking, is that English? That's gibberish. Person, 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 but not three persons, but one person. And Bishop Wakefield, in his book, in his book, it just happens to be here. <laughs> he, he's written about the doctrine of the Trinity, the attributes of God, Trinity, the triune God. And at the end of his essay on the Trinity, Bishop says, he says, yet there are not three gods, but only one, one God only, as seen in the previous section. Therefore, Therefore, we conclude that there are three persons in the unity of the Godhead. And the support is 1 John 5, 7. 1 uh, John yes. 5, 7. One second, one second. <laughs> 1 John 5, 7. What I'm asking is that 1 John 5, 7 is not in my Bible. I want you to find that for me, in this Bible of mine. It, uh, there have been several omissions in some of the modern versions. I don't agree with them, so that's where I stand. So I'm asking, who omitted that? That verse is thrown out as a fabrication in the RSV, Revised Standard Version. Yes, I understand. Who, who did this Revised Standard Version? Not Jews, not Hindus, not Muslims. But 32 scholars of the highest eminence, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, <laughs> 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations of Christianity. They threw it out as a fabrication. And the whole Christian world is come sucking a fabrication and creating a new Godhead, a three in one. This is the Bible. Thank you. I, um, I happen to disagree with those scholars because scholars can be mistaken. And sometimes, sometimes in the defense of truth, of course, my whole truth wasn't hung on that one verse. I just used that at one end there. Better do that. That was written 47 years ago, by the way. <laughs> but I, I'm glad he refers to it. He's giving you a lot of good scriptures tonight. That's terrific. Uh, now, that one verse is not the only one I've used. But I will say this, and I say this respectfully, that because a man claims to be a Christian scholar or become from a mainline Christian denomination, does not mean that he is a committed Christian any more than a person who says, well, I'm Islam and doesn't practice. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.